Epstein Sports TV. Not sure if anybody's been paying attention to it, but there's a show called like uh, Friday Night Tights that's on TV. Um, it's basically about uh, uh, Pop Warner football, playing football in different parts of the country. Uh, you can see down south, man, football is definitely king. There is no substitute. There is no basketball. There's Football is definitely the king. You get a chance to see parents and the way uh, they interact with the coaches, the way they interact with the referees, the way they interact with their own kids. Sometimes it's cool, but we all know there are a couple parents out there that are a little bit overboard when it comes to kind of coaching their kids along. For whatever reason, everybody, everybody thinks that their kids are Deion Sanders, are Kobe Bryant. They, they're not just really good. Everybody's kid is the best. And so when it's a situation like PB football, every parent believes their kid needs to get the play or get the ball every single sweep. They need to get the ball. Now here in Oregon, we're kind of lucky because we get a chance to, uh, they, we go by grade as opposed to weight, but there's a lot of places in Boise State down south. Those little sixth graders, seventh graders, man, those been doing you pretty big. So all those things go on. You see the parents flip out, which is always the, the funniest part, and you see them spaz out, but you also see how much work that the kids put in to trying to be good at football. When we kind of figure out with is is it their dream or is it their parents? And so it's definitely must see TV. I think everybody needs to go ahead and check it out. I believe it's on the Esquire network. So if you get a chance, man, I seriously, seriously suggest taking a couple seconds, man, or a couple minutes and checking it out. You might love it, you might hate it, but I guarantee you afterwards, man, you'll be kind of intrigued. All right, give it up for Rashad, nice job. Hang on a quick minute, Rashad. Stay right here, here, you can hang on to that. All righty, Thank you. let's get a quick thought. I know, uh, let's start with Dusty Hera. Who I know, I believe you guys discussed that show on primetime not that long ago. Yeah, we did. And you got, a, you got a tough one yet again because you were the first contestant of the entire... I'm a trivia question. Host. This is the second time I've gone first. I went first at the, the first time. So. And this is more difficult than, obviously, uh, the, the first time in the opening audition because you didn't know what you were going to talk about. Right when that wheel was spun, you just kind of hit it and went with it. And I thought that, you know, you did a very good job of developing a topic that you knew for 15 seconds. Uh, sounded a little nervous again, but again, you're the first one uh, of the round of 16, and that's a hard thing to do. I thought you did a great job with it. Thank you, Dusty. Love your show. All righty, let's get a quick word from Taylor as well as he settles into his judging debut yeah to kind of echo what dusty said i thought you were you started off nervous you settled down i was surprised you actually went with that particular topic i don't think many of us thought that that would be the direction you would go so i'll give you credit for that i wanted to get an example from the show like i think if you give an example of what you saw and really hit it home say i saw a kid throw up while a coach was yelling at him that kind of drives the the point home that you're trying to make that this is crazy football being played down south you, you kind of glossed over it. It's two minutes. I understand. You tell a story and your personal opinion on what you felt watching a kid throw up. That's going to go so much further to, to bring your audience in and put them in the living room with you. Overall, though, first time, I thought it was really good. Thanks. All right. Isaac, what do you think there of your guy? Somebody want to punch? Coach a mic. Hello? Hello? Hey, there you go. Is that one working? Yeah, you're on. Am I on with this? Okay. Okay, the reason I chose you first, by the way, we picked the batting order because you went first the first time, so I thought you were used to it, and you did a good job the first time because that, that one was the tough one. Well, thank you, Coach. Yeah, so, hey, man, I knew you could do it again, and you did it. That was not an easy topic, um, but the, sometimes they say in radio is just talk about what everyone else is talking about, right? And a lot of people are talking about that show. So you made a perfect topic choice within the topic choice. Um, so I think that was really good because a lot of people are watching that show and it's a very controversial show. So I thought you did a great job with it and you went with the exact perfect topic of, what was it, sports on TV? Yeah, must see sports TV. Yeah, perfect, because that's what everyone's talking about right now. So good job. Thank you, Coach.